All right, so uh, you might have this issue. This is the E3 issue. Basically, this is most likely an issue with the outside um, resistor. So there's a resistor outside that tells this unit the temperature outside, and then this will adjust based on the temperature outside how much humidity you should get inside your house. Okay, so there's something wrong. Either the wire has been cut, someone messed with something. In my case, I actually got a new HVAC, and I don't know what happened. I still have to call them again to come back and fix this, but this wasn't set up right. I don't know what's going on. It's been a few days, and I decided, let me just get this running. I think I can get this running. Um, maybe this is something that you might run into. So I made a video and I'll put it a link into it uh, where I fixed this a few years ago, you know, and sometimes you can actually just move it to reset and, and it'll reset, but this one's not going to work. So what we're looking for here is the ODT. It's these two wires here, my red and white wire. So right here and right here. And what we're going to do just because I want to just, I don't, I've already done this is we have an ohms meter here and we want to test the resistance. Right, so if I test the resistance here, I can see it's the resistance just jumping all over the place. It just doesn't make any sense, the readings. Um, so that tells me something's definitely not right. It should just read like 13. So for example, if it's like 60 degrees outside, there's a table inside the, the, um, the manual, it should be around 13, 13 ohms of resistance. The two ones that go into ODT. So there's actually a, like a, a book right here. So for example, it's 20 degrees outside right now. This should be reading 46 ohms of resistance. It's not reading anywhere near that. And it's also jumping all over the place. So I think this was wired up wrong. So what we could do is, what I'm gonna attempt to do is just to get myself run. Just remove the OD, ODT wires, which I'm gonna do now, and then put the manual switch, put it to manual instead of automatic. So that'll ignore the resistor. And then you have to cycle the R wire. So let's do that really quickly and then you have to use this gauge um, basically to control your humidity all right so what we're going to do is i already fixed this um, is we're going to look for the odt and we are going to remove those screws remove those wires okay so there's no odt uh basically outdoor temperature sensor it's not looking for it all right, so once you get rid of that wire, whichever wire it was in your case, we are then gonna move this little toggle switch right here to manual. Now you're gonna have an M up there. So now you're in manual mode. Now what that means is it's not gonna automatically, you know, turn this thing on and off depending on the weather outside. You know, now you're gonna have to basically, you're in manual mode. That's this, this is the sticker that, you know, it comes with if you put it in manual mode, right? That's what it normally looks like. So what we'll do is, now that everything is off and we're in manual mode, all right, so let's see. Um, oh, we have to cycle the R wire. That'll turn the power off, basically power cycling it. So this R wire is all the way at the end and all we're doing is cycling the power there. All right, power cycled. You know, I really don't understand. I'm just gonna keep it on seven and just keep watching this relative humidity. Oh, look, it's calling for, it's already calling for humidity. So that fixed it. Now, we at least we have a humidifier. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on this so that this doesn't, you know, just blow out a ton of humidity. I don't think at this point, it's so cold outside. I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna put that to seven. And you see humidifiers on. All right, if you have the same issue, this might help you uh, resolve yours and get your humidifier at least going. And then I'm gonna call these guys up and have them figure out what's going on. I just have a feeling it's a simple fix. They just need to basically connect the two, the right wires to the right wires. The thing that's kind of a little concerning is there's a wire connected to things that, that's a little scary, but it's been a few weeks that this hasn't, there's been nothing wrong and I really haven't called them. Um, I just decided to fix this today. I'm Mike, Family DIY TV, and I'm Humidifier, now. Also, if this video was helpful, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, um, and leave me a comment down below. I have tons of videos out there, and my idea with this channel is to really just help people. So whenever I come across something like this, I post it.
Again, I'm Mike Fowler, the ITV, and I'm out.